What's going on guys, Willem Dafoe here coming back at you with another video and today we are back for another episode of the 49ers franchise and I think this might be the first episode with my new microphone. It's been a little while since we've been back on the 49ers franchise, but I am excited nonetheless. This is the team, of course, as far as Buckner, if you guys have been keeping up with the series, is out for still a few more weeks as he tore his abdominal in one of the last episodes. Uh, I want to see here the injury report and see if that's all we're dealing with. Because I haven't really played this in a while. It is only DeForest Buckner. Um, but this is also a very important episode. We do have a game today against the Los Angeles Rams. They're 3-6-1. We are 3-7. and seven. You'll remember we don't play every single game. But also, huge, huge changes have been made to the series in the way of adding in Moonlight Swami's um, sliders. So I think, provided I imported them all, I remembered to last time, these are all his sliders. So we were kind of up in the air, whether, you know, the people that like to see me rage as Russell Wilson would scramble on every single play and we lose 44 to 15 and get smashed. Some people would enjoy that. Others want it to be a little bit more fair because it's not like I'm playing poorly, but it gets so difficult to stop uh, teams like the Seahawks when they have just, you know, just dominant players. Also, people wanted me to edit Russell Wilson to make a change to him. I think it's fair because uh, his player type is mobile. And we're going to change that to balance. Because even though he has the speed in real life, uh, he doesn't try to scramble every single play, obviously. He's active in the backfield. But if you've seen any of the last episodes, he tries to scramble every single play, pretty much. Uh, and it gets really difficult to stop. So sliders have been changed. We're going into the matchup here against the 3-6-1 Rams. Swami plays with these for his franchise. His franchise videos are some of the best on YouTube in terms of gameplay. So hopefully we're going to get an awesome experience. His cornerbacks actually catch interceptions. We were talking about it. So for a 49ers team who in game while playing has no cornerback interceptions, it should be really interesting to make a change and see how well um, we play now and how good the gameplay is. So I'm super excited. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into things. The wind, per usual, is insane. Any game that we have that's outdoors. 13 miles per hour, what appears to be the northeast, if that's the northeast end of the stadium. But uh, yeah, Drew Brees and the Saints. Nope, that's not what team he's on anymore. Drew Brees and the Rams will <laughs> take the field. Remember, they have Ty Gurley. They tried to give it to him maybe 40 times last time we played. Should be very interesting. If I didn't tell you, I think we've always been on eight minutes, but it may have been six or seven. Uh, the quarters are now eight minutes, if they weren't already. So it should be a different franchise experience, but hopefully one that you guys enjoy uh, a little bit more. As Willis Burdine wraps him up, the former first-round pick for us this past year. And that's wide open the over the middle. Sammy Watkins, as he gets it over uh, Quan Alexander, that looked like. He was also another pickup to this 49er team. You know, we've made a, a number of significant pickups over the course of the series so far. We are in season number two, coming up close to the end. I'm not sure whether we're going to make the playoffs or not. These new sliders should, uh, should tell a lot. But Drew Brees is trying to find some space in the pocket. We're going to send a player after him. And Drew Brees is breaking tackles. What, is, what are these sliders, Swami? It's Drew Brees. He just ran for nearly 30 yards. What? <laughs> what is this? Like, I, got, I almost don't want to find out who number 27 is because I might cut them immediately if I find out. How do you not wrap up Drew Brees? I don't know. Going. That's a quarterback interception for the first time in the entire series. At least this year. Willis Burdine undercuts the route and he is celebrating all the way to the bank. Pick six. The first round pick makes arguably his first ever decent play for the squad. What a game changer out here already after a huge Drew Brees run. The arm strength is not as high as it used to be. Willis Burdine intercepts it and goes all the way to the house for six. All right, maybe these sliders are all right. We'll see, we'll see how it plays. After playing really, really poorly in every other game, he comes up and makes a huge play. His first interception is a pick six. That's mine! Ugh! And the pass is dropped. Kirkland tried to get the interception there with Ruben Foster. Couldn't grab it. 
Doyle checks into the backfield for the Rams. He's actually going to get the handoff, but nowhere to go. Reuben Foster says no. Third down and seven. Second and 12. There with a real jumbo package here. Todd Gurley up the middle, nowhere to go. Ray Ray Armstrong. He's a guy that's impressed me early so far here today in the first quarter. Three tackles for him. Not bad. Third and long for the LA Rams. Todd Gurley offset from Drew Brees in the shotgun formation, or in a shotgun formation. It's going to be a play action. Look how fluid Ruben Foster is in coverage. Somehow gets by. What is Obi Melifonwu doing? Oh, man. Sammy Watkins with his 25th ever touchdown catch. And I, I feel like I played that as best as I could in coverage. And Obi Melifonwu was just brain dead out there on the field. I don't know what he was doing. Give me a play action. We're back there. Lobbed over the top. Sammy Watkins drops the ball. Big hit there from Willis Burdine. Helps jar the ball loose. There we go, rookie. Make some plays. We have six total yards of offense. There we go. 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a run at the outside. Somebody better wrap up. Todd Gurley's just too fast. Obi Melifonwu runs past. I tried to A-tackle there. It just didn't register. But Dawson Bailey makes a touchdown saving tackle as the Rams will be first in goal inside the 10. Oh, tried to get there. Tavon Austin with the touchdown. Tried to send somebody after Drew Brees too. Looks like he was rolling out. We wanted the sack. He throws across his body. Hits the slant from Tavon Austin across the middle. And uh, it's, it's difficult to cover three players across the middle. As the Rams are going to take a 14-7 lead. All right. Six total yards of offense, including negative one rushing yards. But here we go. We're going to come out passing now. It's Jimmy Garoppolo who's going to find Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon going to break a tackle before being wrapped up there at the 44. Another first and 10 here. Blitz coming off the corner side. Diving catch made by Janu Smith. Seen him drop the ball a couple times here in the past couple of weeks. He secures that one, though. Play action there. We're going to throw that ball. Jimmy Garoppolo can't get it into Janu Smith, his first incompletion of the day. Thought there was a little gap there on second and seven. Third and seven. Cummings open in the flat. Garoppolo will find him. He steps out of bounds with the momentum. Fourth and two. Fourth and two. The San Fran offense is coming back onto the field at around midfield. Garoppolo calling audibles at the line. Clearly in a nickelback double A-gap setup here. And pressure coming in quickly. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. As Josiah Mahaffey gets there. That could be pass interference. What's the call going to be? It will be pass interference. On the defense, Tremaine Johnson and the interception will not count. Still 49er football. Cummings back in the game now on second and 10. Still negative one total yards as Joey Cummington a break and Aaron Donald tackle after spinning past one. He gets his first positive yardage on the day, but it will be third and five. After another stall offensively from the 49ers, the Rams are back out here. That's a play action. Ruben Foster get back there. He's throwing over the middle. It's picked off by Richard Robinson. Two cornerback interceptions in the same game. I don't believe it. Willis Birdheim with the block. And there's two pick sixes. Richard Robinson goes all the way. I love it. Two cornerback pick sixes here. Will be the only points so far for the 49ers. I do not believe what I'm seeing. Jay Cutler with a beautiful hold. Smoking Jay. Usually holding six, this time holds the extra point, and it's 14 to 14. I guess with the Tavares Buckner injury, you would, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess. As Ty Gurley goes back up the middle, breaks tackles. Somebody bring him down. Down to the 18. There's a two-minute warning. Third and one. There with an empty gun set here. Clearly will not be a run, and Solomon Thomas gets edge pressure. Drew Brees goes down. San Fran will call their first time out of the half. And LA looks like we'll settle for a field goal try. Third and 19. San Fran just going to run the ball here. Joey Cummings with the spin move. And he's tackled from behind. Could have been a huge touchdown saving play potentially with that tackle. As a, There's an interesting spin move there from Joey Cummings. But uh, fourth and nine. And 
San Fran will punt. It's third and two after an incompletion, and there might be enough time to score if uh, San Fran can stop him here on third down. They're going to throw the ball, and that is wide open. Drew Brees misses Todd Gurley, and that is fourth and two. L.A. will punt with 52 seconds to go in the half. The explosive Sanchez Heaney back to return. He could make something happen here. 46 seconds to play. San Fran's going to play it safe. There's Joey Cummings, though, trying to follow some blockers back inside. And the screen is mildly successful. Picks up nine and a half, maybe. Probably going to keep it on the ground. Here's Orleans Darkwa. And he does get a handoff. He has space up the middle. Darkwa nearly bowls over a player. And they're actually going to call a timeout here. Eight seconds from the 48. They could end up with points here. Cummings back in the game. They're actually going to run a handoff. And there's Joey Cummings. Timeout to the 38. This could be a long field goal attempt here for the Niners. 55 yards. Robbie Gold with the wind against him. Probably doesn't have the leg. Brandon McManus certainly would. I don't know how Robbie Gold keeps becoming our starting kicker. As Brandon McManus is a much better option. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that's a setting. We can't call a timeout. Might be able to call an audible here. The field goal will be no good. Three seconds. There's not really enough time for much else. We're just going to try uh, to fake it, I guess. Wide open is Jonu Smith, and he's missed. He missed the throw. That was almost a certain touchdown. No. We're going to receive at the half. Oh, my God. Third and long. Throwing. It's Jonu Smith. He breaks a tackle. Why are you going back that way? My controller's pointed to the right. We'll take the first down anyway. The connection of Jonu Smith has been very odd this game. If you look at his target so far, including that one at the end of the half, it's been very, very odd. A lot of receivers out here. We're going to throw it deep. It's Sanchez Heaney. He hauls it in. What a throw from Jimmy Garoppolo. As Sanchez Heaney goes nearly 50 yards. Third and long now. Garoppolo rolling out, looking for places to dump the football. He's going to find Trent Taylor. Can't get the first down, though. Fourth and two. Looks like with Brandon McManus back in the game, back on the team, San Fran's going to try for the field goal here. And it's a fake. Oh, Garrett Selleck had nowhere to go. <laughs> Saw the fake of the other one. They came out in field goal safe, man, for the first time ever. All right. First and 10 handoff. Todd Gurley, he's going to find the outside. Obi Melifonwu going to push him out of bounds. Huge gain there from Todd Gurley, who's averaging over 11 per carry. And that's a user pick. Easy reads from Reuben Foster, who breaks a Todd Gurley tackle. Todd Gurley's on the ground. And Reuben Foster in a foot raid with Table and Austin, who also falls down. Good night. Moon with the easy reads. Reuben Foster pick. Six, his eighth interception on the season. As San Fran has three defensive touchdowns this game. Brandon McManus with his first action all year. And the extra point is good. 21-17 Niners. Drew Brees. And the ball's loose. Sacked by Eric Armstead. Recovered by Aaron Lynch. Get up. More, more defensive points. DeForest Buckner not was not in the game. I think it was Eric Armstead who got to the quarterback and got that ball loose. We're back on offense. Haven't been much this game. Haven't done much when we've been on it. As still, we cannot run on Aaron Donald, obviously. Third and 12. We're going to air it out. Look for someone to throw it to. Looks like use check is open. First down. We're going to go ahead and attempt the field goal here with Brandon McManus, which will be his first field goal this season as a 49ers. Robbie Gold has been vulturing all of the attempts. Still don't know how he's on the team. We're going to deal with that after the episode or during the episode after the game. 24-17, still a touchdown game. Going to have to make plays. Ball's loose. 
It's picked up by Quan Alexander. We could have another defensive score here today, and we do. Quan Alexander into the end zone for the touchdown. Nearly missed the interception, narrowly missed the interception there with Ruben Foster. And then the ball comes loose finally from the hands of Todd Gurley. And we have yet to score offensive points this game. It's been all special teams and defense. And the sack comes through. Solomon Thomas brings down Drew Brees. And with 30 seconds to play, LA is going to call a timeout. And they have 31 yards to go for a first down. Drew Brees is going to lob it up. Doesn't matter. But it's picked off by Reuben Foster. Use your pick somehow. Easy reads. Use your pick. Green eggs and ham? I don't even know. That's Reuben Foster's ninth interception of the year. As Jimmy Garoppolo has a very odd day. Nine for 15, 147 yards, no interceptions. Rushing, Joey Cummings was not good. 12 rushes for 33 yards. Broke a tackle, but not a lot of room to run the ball today. No offensive touchdowns for us, obviously, so we won't even bother checking there. Quan Alexander with 13 tackles. Tackles for loss. Aaron Donald was a menace on the line. Just had a sack. Um, Quan Alexander, Ruben Foster, both with one. Solomon Thomas picked up two sacks in the effort. Uh, Eric Armstead also had one. That was a strip sack as well. Interceptions, Ruben Foster with two. And then Richard Robinson and Willis Burdine, each with one. Forced fumble was from Eric Armstrong. And then Ray Ray Armstrong, who had a very, very solid day. Fumble recoveries for Quan Alexander and Aaron Lynch. And then defensive touchdowns, we had three. Richard Robinson, Quan Alexander. Oh, we had four. R Ruben Foster and Willis Burdine. Four defensive touchdowns. Unbelievable. Thank God for the defense. All right, the next game would be against the 7-4 Detroit Lions. As it looks like we have Eric Armstead cleared for injury here. Oh, no, no, no. DeForest Buckner. Um, we're going to start Eric Armstead again. I don't really want DeForest Buckner to get injured any more so than he already is, especially we are 4-7. and seven. Likely not going to have a chance to make the playoffs. We have to win out in any circumstance to make the playoffs. We're going to do a little bit of scouting, though. So a lot of people are saying, look at quarterbacks, because Jimmy Garoppolo has... He hasn't been fantastic for our team. That's just the reality. Hasn't really been anything special. And people say, all right, in real life, Jimmy Garoppolo, obviously fantastic, played awesome for the Niners. But this isn't real life. This is a franchise where we can do anything. Some people are saying draft a quarterback and, you know, have your own... Uh, like series through that quarterback and Spencer Campman looks very very good Sean Parks not so good I'm looking for a minus throw power minimum and uh, I don't know Jimmy Garoppolo like, he had a decent week he's not bad we just got to get a better uh, group of players around him I mean you look at the receivers and Sanchez Heaney's been fantastic but he's nothing special Kalan Adkins has been great when he plays but he's nothing special some of these guys have the potential to be special but they're certainly not yet, uh, not there yet. So I think we're going to simulate this game over the Detroit Lions and see what happens. Maybe we'll come out with a win. If we don't, we slip to 4-8. and eight. And this is a divisional matchup against the Cardinals. We could play for next episode. They are 2-10. and 10, And it's going to get repetitive playing the same teams. We might go ahead and skip that one as well. And I think we will after I scout. I don't want to just keep playing the same teams time and time again, even though that's probably what we're going to have to do. We're going to probably play the 8-5 and five Vikings in next week's episode, uh, and I should have turned injuries off for the simulation. Who's out? Robbie Gold? Oh, that's fantastic. Here's what's not fantastic. Jimmy Garoppolo pulls his groin. Our starting quarterback, he's done. He's done for the season. Robbie Gold is just going to get cut. I can't cut him when he's injured. We're going to place him on the injured reserve list. Um, and... Our backup quarterback, you guys know him well, Smokin' Jay Cutler. All right. This shit don't run well.